It's got a pop top. It's got a pop top. So it makes it really easy to take solo and I don't worry about the wind too much. And uh, yeah, this is my first solo shakedown trip. And uh, yeah, here we go. This is my new friend Velma and she's camping with me this weekend. She's very interested in the kind of rig she has. Velma, what is your truck brand? So I have a Ford F350 2008 and we have on the back here a four-wheel camper. It's a company from Woodland, California. Uh, they've been around since 1972. This particular rig is a 2013 Grand B. So it's the biggest model that they have. Great. And it's a little different than any other campers. What's different about it? It's got a pop top. It's got a pop top. So it makes it really easy to take solo and I don't worry about the wind too much. And uh, yeah, this is my first solo shakedown trip. But you've been camping a long time. I've been camping my whole life. With family. Always with family and friends and big groups. Yeah. Great. And is this your first rig? No. <laughs> this is not, definitely not my first rig. <laughs> okay. It's not your first rodeo. Not my first rodeo. I've had many, many up until this point. Okay. So this is my this is my solo rig. Your though. solo rig. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. May we go inside? Yep. Yeah. Check it out. Okay, Velma, let's look and see what you've got in here. That's your refrigerator. It's actually a really big fridge. Fabulous. And it's the freezer is enormous. I don't even have anything in there. <laughs> Good but for ice cubes and ice cream. It's perfect, yep. We're on shore power right now, so everything's working right. Right. And then you have all these cabinets and cupboards and lots and lots of storage. And you have a little heater, mm -hmm. and is that run heater. pound propane? Good. Propane heater, and then we have our little battery bank down here. Well, power, battery power, and all our right. fuses. Right. Do you have a uh, wall or a board that you can see how much battery you have? Or, oh, there's your control panel. Okay, very good. Now, do you have solar? I I have solar. I didn't bring it this trip because it's you're portable gonna... and I have shore power. Okay. But the camper is a, is pre-wired for solar. So you just have portable so solar panels that you would hook on and set them outside. Otherwise, they can be mounted on the roof. Oh, but you don't have them yet mounted on the roof. No, yeah. When did you get the camper? Uh, we've had it about three months. Okay. Very good. Very good. And you've got some other storage bins over here. And then this is the bed area above the cab, and you've got windows here, and I see you have a max fan up mm -hmm. there. One in, one out. And how big is this bed all made up? Right now, it's about the size of a full size. Okay. But pulled out, it can be a queen. Okay, and so other models can this, be pulled this as board well. can pull out? Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Yeah, and other models can be as big as the king. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good.
And then down here, you've got all this seating. Yeah, so this is another bed. So this will roll ah. over into a bed. But we have a, just a lot of storage in the back. In the back. That we use right now being solo. I don't really need it. Right. Very good. Yeah. Now, where do you store your clothes? Behind you in the little... In the little the plastic little thing over there. Okay. Then uh, there's no bathroom or toilet in here. Yes, there is. Oh, where is that? It's hiding. It's hiding. <laughs> so it's uh, right under here. And I didn't like looking at it. So I covered it up with wine bottles. Very good. Is it like a cassette it's toilet? It's a teeny weeny, teeny a tiny cassette little, little cassette toilet. A little cassette toilet. Very good. So you can boondock. Oh, yes. Fully. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Did you make the cover? Yeah. Very good. Hey, you're a fellow fellow crafter I, like me, I, sewer, I, huh? I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and this is her little dog, Roxy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And there's quite a bit of floor space. Oh, yeah, and Snickers and Roxy are friends. Yeah, we actually found some $10 of mats at Home Depot and cut them to size, so we have a $20 rug here. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and then you could take it out yeah, to and clean shake it, it. It's and easier. shake it or whatever you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And you've got storage for shoes and everything mm -hmm. under there. And under here, these little tiny doors, you don't see them, but inside there, if you reach your hand in there, that's where the turnbuckles are. And that's the attachment for the camper to the bed of the truck. Of the truck. Okay. Now, when you fold this down, mm -hmm. You can do it on your own. It doesn't take yeah. a lot of strength. There, it's piston assisted. Ah, so very the good. Pistons are on the outside, and so once you get that initial push, it takes over and and, and it brings down. it back down. And of course, you clean off everything that's on any kind of countertop or Anything surface. Anything below that hard line right. has to come right. All the way so down. when you lower it and raise it, you like stand by the door. And so pull I'll something. Do the, I'll do that side first. Okay, and and, and the handle is up here. This little handle pops off. And I see. Pull it, but I'm not gonna. Do no, that. don't do that now. <laughs> but you get the idea. Yeah, and then on this side, it's a snap, and you pull it. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> okay, well, and you're able to do it yourself, so yeah. that's the important thing. Yeah. Very yeah, good. Very great. good. Well. Okay. So you said you do some crafts. What do you like to do? My craft of choice is fused glass art. So I like to take my glass and fuse it together or um, and make jewelry or I take wine bottles and make them into little key holders or, or spoon holders or whatever you want to put in a little wine bottle. But uh, glass is my medium. But I'm traveling on this trip. I brought my skin and cut and I'm just brainstorming about different things that I can uh, turn from a, a pattern into glass. Very cool. Yeah. Now you you mentioned something about this little sign adventure. Tell me about that. So I cut that out just as a just as a you know just a decoration. As a, well just as a tester to see how it how it looks. But I can take something like that and use, using fire paper, turn that into um, a real, uh, I can turn that into glass. Ah. So if I put a piece of glass over it, put it in the kiln, the glass will melt and take on the uh, the shape of the, of the, of of the whatever letter. I print. <laughs> very cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah. But you have to have a kiln to do what you do. Definitely. So you yeah. can't really bring a kiln in your camper so much, can you? No, but I can do a lot of prep. Unless you get a trailer to pull behind, right? Yeah, I could. Yeah. <laughs> now, you can also do it in the microwave. Do so you have like, a microwave that you bring along sometimes? Well, this is all my, my fantasy retirement is to be a crafty traveler. Oh, thank you so much. So funny that we met. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, this is the view out Velma's door. That's Cash Creek, full and flowing. Velma, I want to give thank you so much for giving me a tour and showing me your new pop-up camper. I have never really been in one and seen one in person. They're great. Yeah. They're great. Well, Velma, thank you for letting me do the interview and always stay crafty. If you like this video of the tour of Velma's camper, please give me a thumbs up. 
comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when touring this high-top camper.